Chances are you've heard about BPA, a chemical and plastic that may find its way into your food and beverages. For years, experts have warned of BPA's toxicity, but a new study claims we may be being exposed to way more BPA than what the FDA has deemed as safe. In fact, as much as 44 times more BPA. The study's author, Patricia Hunt, is a professor of molecular bioscience at Washington State University. Join us now via Skype. So I have to ask the question because you're one of the world's foremost experts on BPA. Let's take a step back. Why is BPA so concerning? BPA is one of a number of common chemicals that are designed for one purpose, but they have this unexpected ability to mimic or interfere with our body's hormones. And that's really not a good thing. Um, our bodies produce hormones that control everything. And this is our endocrine system. So these are called endocrine disruptors. And it affects our bodies, um, especially fetus, newborn, children, developing bodies are particularly sensitive. And like hormones, very, very small levels can induce very, very big effects. So the, from experimental studies, like studies we've done, you can see effects on the reproductive system, the brain, behavior, the developing mammary gland and prostate gland that would lead to an increased risk of cancer and changes in metabolism like diabetes and obesity. And your study is a bit of a game changer because you essentially found that our exposure is a heck of a lot higher than we even thought. Can you share that data with us? Yes, our data suggests that our assumptions about exposure are really completely wrong. We found using the new method that the old method was really, really inaccurate. So what can we do? I, I'm, I'm listening to this and quite honestly, uh, personally, selfishly, I have a baby on the way, and I'm thinking to myself, how do we protect our kids? It's not like we can eliminate all of our exposure. We can reduce some of it. And so there are a few things that consumers to think of, can think about. I encourage them always to think about plastics differently. They're not meant to be permanent products. So if your favorite little Tupperware container is showing signs of wear and tear, as much as you love it, throw it out. If it's showing signs of wear and tear, it's starting to leach chemicals. One other thing we can do is start thinking about storage containers and store in glass instead of in plastic. Buy yourself a new water bottle that's no longer plastic, but maybe it's glass or maybe it's metal. There's some really nice new sexy ones out there. <laughs> Pat, do you think, you know, with your new study out that we're, we're grossly underestimating how much exposure we're getting to BPA, is the FDA going to take a look at this sooner than later? I hope so. I think <laughs> but we I all think hope the, so. Si <laughs> the situation's a little bit more complicated because you may have noticed on your consumer shelves there's BPA free. And of course, you reach for that because you know it's better. But in fact, these products actually contain other bisphenols that are chemicals very like BPA. And so technically you're getting BPA free, but you're not getting a product that's guaranteed to be any safer. In other so, words, if we may not have BPA, bisphenol A, there may be other bisphenols in there that are just as toxic or just as damaging. So I think you've highlighted that this is something we have to continue to be aware of, minimizing your exposure. We're gonna have a list of tips that you can utilize in your own life on our website. I wanna thank you, Patricia, so much for the work you're doing. Keep it up.